Hello everyone, it is ConfusedDoll29, and it's another day of Minecraft. I see my sheep is walking around here, just being nice and peaceful, and I'm actually really impressed by this house I've made, honestly. It's probably one of the nicer ones I've made. Um, this is a world and above better than the dirt house I had. That was just sad. But yeah, well, let's see. What am I going to do today? Well, I think I should probably light this area up with torches because it looks a little bit dark. Oh, forget everything's down here. Come on. There we go. 44 tor torches. That should be more than enough. Right here, 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 everywhere. Darkness will not be tolerated on this island. This is my island. Who's this guy? A wet zombie. Hi. What do you think of my sword? He liked it so much he died. Isn't that nice? Well, it's actually really nice to be out here at night without, like, having the risk of dying horribly. I have to say, I like it quite a bit, being alive. Living is really underrated, you know. I mean, like you get to breathe and like be freaking alive. That's pretty crazy. It's pretty epic. And I have quite the, well, I wouldn't call it a forest, but I have quite the tree farm going on. Well, one thing I'd like to do today is go back to that one uh, flowery, mountainy island that I went to. Um, well, I think it was near the end of last episode. Another wet zone. Come on. Let's get it over with. No one wants you here. There we go. Now he's dead. Just the way I like it. Oh, and one thing I might want to do is grow some sugar cane. So I can make paper, so I can make maps. Hmm. Right here. That can be my sugar cane sugar cane farm for now. And here's my lovely sheep. Well, as I've said earlier, I have been reading wikis and, you know, watching YouTube videos. So, I've learned a very advanced technique that only, like, veteran Minecrafters know. And it's really cool. It's a really crazy recipe. Um, super advanced, you need two iron, and what you basically do is you put one here, one here, and you get shears. So yeah, that's the really advanced trick I just learned. Um, don't try this at home, it's very risky. So I'm just going to take your wool, thank you, and I will store that in my chest. What's going on? Bread! That's one thing I can do. I love a good bread. It's daytime now. Looks quite nice. Oh well. The moon is under the sea. That's pretty neat. Well, I think I'm going to probably head back to that flowery island. 
I think it was this way. I hope so. It's always a little bit difficult to navigate in Minecraft, because when you're in the same biome, everything kind of looks the same. So, of course, this is just a massive string of islands in a sea of water. So, I always need to remember which way I came from. So I need to try to go in straight lines as much as possible. But I think the island is going to be on the right. Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, that's definitely it. Alright. Anything to do here? Well, I can pick flowers. New recipe. I have plenty of these, I think. Get to have some nice tulips. And why not have some peonies? Who's gonna stop me? No one. Oh, well. I didn't see that one. I need to go there. That one looks even bigger. And more impressive. I wonder if I could figure out a way to get up there. Maybe. No, that looks pretty steep. Still though, this is a cool place. Actually, I think this is the island I went to. Oh yeah! <laughs> right there. Crafting table, stove. More tulips. I crave tulips. <laughs> Maybe I could get up this way. view. That is pretty darn cool. Another flower island. Cool. That ocean looks really nice. Especially when you can see the seaweed. Super cool. Alright. Well, there's not really any resources here that I can see. I mean, besides flowers. I mean, dyes are pretty nice, but they're not the most useful thing ever. I wonder if there are any caves. Since I do have an iron pickaxe with me, it might be a good time to do some mining. Assuming there is a cave. I think it might be time to have some bread, actually. There we go. Ooh. Hey, coal. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. This could take a while, though. Oh, oh no, I'm drowning. Yikes. Okay. Well, as far as I can tell, there aren't any cave entrances. But still. Oh well. Floating land. That's always fun. Okay. What's this little guy? Hi. Maybe I should get a fishing pole or a bucket or something. Because fishing would be a very sensible food source here. Oh, here's some coal.
Okay. Well, I just wanted my little mix of coal. Okay. What direction am I going? I think this way. I hope I'm right. What's this? Fish. Oh, there's the island where my boat disappeared. I think. Yeah, I think so. So I remembered in one of my uh, previous episodes, I saw kind of the border of a swamp, but I didn't really go into it because I got scared by that, uh, whatever it was. I still have no idea what I saw that day, but it scared me. And I think it was living in there. Maybe. I don't know. It's like some ocean fortress or something. Oh. Maybe it was those things that attacked me. They look deadly, so that's probably what it was. see if I can find that swamp, because that could lead to, like, a land area, which would be very useful. Swamp, but not really, like, land swamp, just trees growing in water. Oh, well, here's something. This might just be like a small island, but still, it's worth checking out. Come on. Why can't I get out? There we go. Now don't disappear on me. I hate that glitch. <laughs> this is my favorite kind of flower. Hey, sheep. Well, this is a reasonably sized island, and it looks like it leads to another one, which could be bigger. Might not even be an island. Could be just like a land continent thing. We need to keep track of the sun. Oh no, yikes, it's almost night. Um, oh, a village. Well, now I know where I'm going to stay the night. <laughs> what luck I've had. A village right when I needed it. That's great. And of course, sugar cane. Can never have enough of that. Looks like a pretty big one, too. I think I'll just sleep here, in case they don't mind. Oh no, it's occupied. Well, I'll try another house. There's almost always at least one bed that's unoccupied. At least in my experience. Hi guys! getting darker. Ugh, no. Come on. Please let me have this bed. There we go. Ugh, monsters. Great. Here. Have some bread. Where are you, man? Okay. Hey, got an advancement. Okay. Now I can sleep. Perfect. Man, that was like the most convenient thing ever to just randomly find a village. 
maps. Yes. Okay. Well, let's open one up. Okay. Let's make it bigger. Now it's a big map. Sir, that is a lot of emeralds you're asking for. Oh wait, more of it. Don't know, man. I don't know. They're so grumpy. Can't they be positive? <laughs> so this is like the librarian's house, I take it. See if I can raid some chests. So I can get some nice loot. Potato, bread, saplings. Just basic stuff, but that's alright. I'm not gonna complain about free loot. I would never turn down such an easy opportunity. What does that do? Huh. Oh. Made everyone freak out. Go into their houses. Oops. Didn't mean to do that, guys. It must have been like the alarm bell. <laughs> huh. Well, hopefully they'll come out soon. Hey! Potions. This could be useful later. Hmm. Huh. Well, I think this episode is going to be the exploration episode. I see this. Oh no! Apples! That's a lot of apples. This is one of the biggest villages I've ever seen. Or at least in my worlds. I've probably seen bigger ones in ones that other YouTubers have played in. Here. No. Well. Did I see this one? There's nothing in there. Well. I think it might be time to head home soon, but it was really fun being here. I will definitely have to come back. Well, I'm quite glad I decided to go check out that swamp, because it led to really good things. Eventually I can start trading. Here. No chess. Okay. Well then. I think this is where I came from. Look at all those sheep. Did I eat all my bread? Oh no. I have plenty. And, of course, I have my wool source at home, which will be very slow, but it'll be enough. Oh, actually, I could just, like, shear him, since I have my shears right with me. I'll do that. I want your hair. I want your fur! It's actually called wool, but whatever. New recipes. 
Okay, good. Here's my boat. This way. Lily pad. Back at sea. these guys. Oop. I'm gonna have to read up on ocean menace things so I can figure out how to fight them effectively. You know what I'm gonna do here one day? I'm going to build a nether portal. Right there. I've just randomly decided that. Alrighty. Back at home base. I'd say it's time to harvest the wood. Hi, sheep. Okay. Well, let me just... I think this is my one flaw with my house design. It's so hard to get into my storage room. But yeah. No, I'll need those. And, well, I may as well make a map here too. I see that I live by the ocean. This map is very enlightening. <laughs> but that's okay, I can make it bigger. And hopefully I'll figure out what lies over in this direction. That's actually really nice because the other map showed the village area in this direction, and this map should show me what's in this direction. So that should work well. I'm just going to harvest some more wool. And I'm going to go inside. Because I just have a beautiful view out of my window. But this is not quite beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to do one last thing today, and that is I'm going to dye my bed some cool color. I like this color the best. So we're going to make some light blue dye. We're going to throw it in with the bed, and I have a beautiful fluorescent blue bed. Looks great. Even matches the ocean. Well guys, that's about it for this episode. I hope you had a fantastic time watching me explore my area. I actually didn't die today, which is pretty amazing. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.